I need to tell you a little story. As I was continuing my adventure, I passed out for unknown reasons. And of course, there was a titano born nearby, and it ate me. But I was reborn immediately. I gathered and crafted all the necessities for survival, but you've probably heard about the basics hundreds of times already, so let's skip ahead to the more exciting parts. Like when I found this trike and decided to tame it. With my raft built and my trike tamed, I ventured north in an attempt to find some direwolves. On my way there, I found another trike, and as this one was a male, I wanted to tame it so my lady trike would have a mate. But then a Sarko appeared and had my trike for breakfast. A little later, I found another potential mate for my lonely trike lady. He wasn't very cooperative at first. You might call him hard-headed. But eventually realized that she's quite cute. So they made a little baby. But it was a little cold for it over here, so went for the south again to hatch it. Sadly it was a bit of a diva and the imprinting didn't go so well. I then sailed north again. And on the way there, a raptor tried to harass my baby trike. So I knocked her out, tamed her, and made her apologize. Now they get along well and even chill next to each other when we sail. The next day, I found some river rocks and collected a lot of metal. Luckily, my trike is strong and can carry a lot of heavy things for me. After collecting a good amount of metal, I decided that was enough for now and sailed further. I actually found some crystal, but a pack of hyenodons attacked us and almost killed my trike. It was also freezing cold here and I started to not feel so well, so I decided to turn back. After recovering my health, I found a stego in need of some help. It got its tail stuck in a tree and couldn't move. So I befriended it and tried to help it out. At daytime, I went back to grab some of that crystal I found earlier. It should be a little warmer now since the sun is out. Luckily, there were no hyena ones here this time, and I managed to collect a good amount of the crystal and even found some oil. Later that day, I spotted a high level Rex and took my chance. I got very worried when it seemed to have smelled something in the direction of where my raft and my friends are. And it was heading straight for it. Turns out, it smelled the stego I just helped out. It must have gotten hurt earlier and the Rex probably smelled the blood. I tried my best to save the stego, but it couldn't get away. I think the wound was on its leg, so it couldn't walk well. And then, one of my trikes got angry at the Rex for killing his friend and picked a fight with it. And he lost. A little later, the Rex started running away. Was it getting weaker? It escaped to the ice floes, and I lost sight of it. In the evening, I found a dire wolf. Finally! I love them. It was quite aggressive though, but I was determined to tame it. I seem to have really bad luck today though, as you Tyrannus found my Diabolf and killed it. I'm still upset about this. And then, if it wasn't enough bad luck already, some scorpions attacked my raft and my baby trike jumped into the water to defend us. There was a shark though, and it killed her so quickly, I couldn't watch it. After recovering from my losses, I found the Rex from earlier passed out in between the ice floes. I had some spare prime meat, so I tamed it. 
I've lost enough. A strong defender would be very helpful right now. I didn't have any experience in riding a rex, so I started with training it to attack on command. We took a break from our training session, when a Uturanus attacked us. I was on my raft at the time, so I could only watch from afar. My trike was really scared. After all, her mate and her daughter just died. But the Rex had to make up for killing her mate and saved her from the Uturanus. After I calmed down from that shock, I found a Ludicrous, and it looked really cute, so I decided to tame it. The next day, I worked up the courage to ride the Rex. It was scary at first, but the Rex and I worked quite well together. I think she's starting to like me. We went up the snowy mountain to collect some metal there, and when I came back, the Ludicrous woke up. I showed her how fun it is to harvest stone. And then I cleared out a little area for a house with the help of my trike. I built my house mostly out of stone as it's safer. But I do really like the look and feel of wood, so I decided to do the interior out of wood. The Rex and I went to another trip to the snowy mountain to collect some more metal, as I needed some for some machines I wanted to build. While the metal was melting, I built a little greenhouse so I can grow some plants. I will need those later to cook some kibble and soups with. At some point here, I tamed an Anki, but I don't recall when it happened. I do remember though, that we went to collect lots of metal. Ankies are really strong, they don't look like it, but they can carry a lot. I also found a maid for it around this time. I remember getting an egg from them. I was so excited when I saw this. I also tamed a pair of stegos again, and I got an egg from them as well. I had to hatch both of these immediately. Those babies were so cute. And while those two were growing, I found another Sego egg. Those two must have really hit it off. Later that day, I found a knocked out Tech Rex. Weird creature. I fed it some prime meat, and it woke up friendly. I spent some time training it, and we happened to find some organic polymer too.
The next day, I ventured out to find some obsidian. And later that day, I also found some silica pearls. I also attempted to tame some RGs, as their eggs are quite valuable for killable recipes. It was quite the challenge, they fly away so fast. I really had to practice my shooting skills for this. After I had tamed these RGs, I decided it was finally time to get some die wolves, so I built a little enclosure to make taming them easier. I then went out with my strongest RG to find some wolves and put them into the new pen. They seemed very confused at first, but eventually calmed down. The next couple of days I spent mostly collecting resources. I needed a lot of metal and polymer for some more advanced projects. I also took care of some baby die wolves. They were so distracting. They wanted to play the whole time. I spent the rest of the day preparing for my next adventure while, of course, also playing with the die wolves every chance I got. But I will tell you that part of the story another time. Why don't you watch one of my older adventures in the meantime? <laughs>